what's going on guys welcome back to the channel just a quick reminder today's video is brought to you by llf games the ultimate car competition platform so what are we doing today second track feature yeah i've been invited by top developments to go out in there fully built big turbo 650 horsepower mitsubishi evo 8 it is literally a track spec car you can beat the hell out of it on track now the reason i'm actually at brands hatch is because i'm actually testing my own race car the same day so that video will be coming up soon some of you know i've got an e92 m3 built by jeff still racing we've just had a dry sump kit installed rebuilt the engine you'll see that video coming up soon but just quickly for anybody that enjoys the video remember we can do one just like this on your car so simply book a track day pin me down as a driver yeah give me about four or five laps and i'll film your video just like today yeah it'll literally be about two hours of your time and you can carry on with your track day so yeah let me put you back into the video Drag race, no drag queen, straight fuel injection. Yeah. That's max speed, no vaccine. Yes, Dennis. How we doing, man? Good, man, you? Yeah, uh, thanks for the invite today. That's okay, you're welcome. So before we go into what we're doing today, obviously we're going to be filming this Evo 8. We're going to be taking out on track at Brands. Who is it you guys are? What, what is it you do for a living? Um, so we're Talk Developments. We've been going since 1984. We do performance road car and race car tuning, engine builds, transmission builds. In-house tuning, everything. Yeah, uh, we've got our own uh, road test four-wheel drive hub dyno. Mm -hmm. We've got our own engine build room. Uh, we have a fabrication area uh, and a free, free bay ramp. Onto the car. So it's an Evo 8, which version yeah, is it? An MR320. MR320. Yeah. And this is a customer car? It is a customer's car. Customer car, yeah. car yeah. yeah. And uh, do you want to maybe go into a bit of work? I know you say the customers had some other work done, like chassis stuff, but you've mainly done like yeah, engine so the work. Yeah, so where we've been putting our yeah. efforts into. So it's still a two litre. We're using an SME recast cylinder head. So instead of conventional roller rockers and hydraulic lifters, yes. uh, we've now got solid buckets directly over um, instead. Changes the shape of the ports, port angles, valve angles. Angles, mm -hmm. Fantastically flowing head, and we've got a Garrett G770 turbo. Wow, um, big, big boy! Big boy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what would you estimate horsepower to be? Um, she's been dynoed at 650, 650. Um, but it is torque limited. We have limited the torque on purpose to protect the transmission. Regular pump fuel as well, so we're only running 99 wrong. With a stronger transmission, she'll easily go on to make 7, 770. So, so we're stock gearbox, yeah? Stock gearbox. What stock is it, just diffs. a hit and miss? I know from the Skylines, or some of, even I own the Evo, so is it just like a waiting game for if the gearbox holds up? Yeah, or so it... what we have done is we have put torque limits in to try and protect it. So yeah. horsepower isn't what will break the gearbox. It's, it's the amount of torque that it makes yeah, and how it yeah. delivers it. This car runs a Cyvex EC. With mm -hmm. onboard boost control and so on. So, we actually use that to limit how much torque the engine produces and make that torque nice and smooth, mm -hmm. try and protect the transmission to keep okay. it alive while still hitting our target on as far as power goes. Got you. So, is this actually a track build? Like, did the owner build it as yeah, a track Yeah, so he's car built it for track days. Uh, track days and Nurburgring trips. Yeah, oh, it's um, been Nurburgring, yeah? Yeah, yeah, it's nice. been to Nurburgring a few times as well. Would you say that this is like, like you could beat the hell out of it on track, like, no issues? Yeah, is just it? go out, kick it around all day, yeah. come back, what, on, give it a once over. Full boost, and, uh, or do you lower it for yeah, track? Yeah, no, um, at the moment, we still run full bottles. The only boost control is a throttle pedal at the moment. So uh, um, we, you can add um, a cow switch and we can change boost okay. levels and restrict yeah. it and so, so on. So there's um, no low boost, high boost? It's no, just not at the moment. Now. The customer actually just wanted to yeah. give it yeah. all it's got. So. Right, so full engine building. Chassis wise, you say it is running aftermarket. Uh, yeah, so this is on BC coilovers, mm -hmm. case sport brakes, mm -hmm. fully poly bushed and so on. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, check out the interior guys. It's really nice in there. <laughs> Looks like there's a, some sort of Android device maybe here. So you're saying stock transmission, you've got a nice little Sparco Alcantara wheel. Yep. And yeah, we've got the it's full cage. Safety devices roll cage. We've got some harnesses as well, obviously for track use. The Android stereo has also got the Bluetooth app for the Cyvex. Okay. Um, so we can actually see live data from the ECU on there. Yeah. Any safety features with the Cyvex? Yeah, so it's watching oil pressure, fuel pressure, coolant mm -hmm. temp, oil temp. It's all the really important stuff. What do you do sump-wise for this then? Like, uh, is it dry sumped or is it just no, baffled? No, it's got baffled or? sump in it at the moment. Yeah. If the customer was to go over to slick tyres, yeah. we would have to start looking at dry sumps. Got you. Right, so what tyres are we running today? Uh, Toyo R888s. R888s. That's not going to be good today, is it? Yeah. <laughs> I said it's not going to be good today on this one. No, uh, on today, I think we're going to struggle to get any kind yeah. of grip. So. All right, should we jump out, Dennis? Yeah, let's go for yeah, it. Yeah, let's do it, man. Ha, ha, ha. 
so many evos i don't know if you, what you've seen of the channel but i've been out in about 10 evos like uh, all kinds of power yeah. and um you saying this is 650 the strength on this so strong. this is a true 650 isn't yeah. it a lot of people do rant and rave about numbers on this one yeah so when you yeah. ask them to give a graph for it yeah it's really sketchy yeah um, but yeah no, this is proper solid it's yeah nice it holds that power all the way clearly doesn't it yeah. very capable and it felt nice even in the, the, the type of service was on, it, it felt like it had grip. There was a little moment, wasn't it, where it felt it, it just sitting there waiting like for it. It's just, <laughs> right, okay, now I can feed it in. Yeah. yeah. So we've got black flag so, for noise. Black flag for noise. So what we've got is we've got a downturn pipe that we're going to try. So yeah. obviously it's a drive by is a bit failing. So we're going to put that in, get tested again, yeah. and we'll try and get some more laps in. Uh, yeah. Hopefully. Uh, This wheel just feels lovely. Man, the front end straight away. As I say with Evo's guys, they feel magic, man. <laughs> the 
power bar is this? <laughs> I mean, even there, mid corner, it's yeah, like switching. You've got to be careful, man. <laughs> The power doesn't feel too much. Obviously, you've got to stay on the dry line. We had a few <laughs> moments, but um, it's not intimidating. It feels very controllable. Yeah. The power feels more than enough for Brian's hatch. Um, but still a usable power, right? Definitely. Obviously, I was trying to look, rev it, rev it out, but you don't need to rev it out, do you? It's got so much mid range. Just yeah. wants to go. Yeah, it's a big turbo, but it, it spools up nice and quick. You've got to stay on the revs. Oh, what a drive, man. Awesome. Oh, yes, tennis. Like that, yeah? Mate, I appreciate it, man. No Thank worries, you so much man. for the invite today. That's all right. Um, right. Yeah, she's beautiful. She's yeah. beautiful. Obviously, yeah. all know people think, for, oh, not people, even myself, I think four-wheel drive, rain, damp, no, nah, it don't matter, but it does, it does man. Matter. you still got to be very yeah, careful. Yeah, yeah. you definitely got an advantage um, being all-wheel drive, but yeah. it is just like it's rear wheel, isn't it? And the setup's if you don't know what you're doing, if you come on in the wrong places, you will spin it out yeah. easy. And the setup's really important as well. I mean, we spent some time setting the chassis up, so yeah. there's so much grip, but when it does let go, it gives you a nice, predictable it, warning. There you it's go. nice and it controllable. Does, yeah. So yeah. when it, it does felt, start to go wrong, yeah. easy to catch hold on. Yeah, and that's how it felt. Yeah. It felt very predictable. Yeah, and that, that's the point for us is to um, feed confidence into the driver. If the driver feels confidence in the car, yes. willing to push, whereas if yeah. you're always nervous of it, you're mm. always worried about putting it in. So. Yeah. So did we mention this car's for sale? Or? Yeah, he's for sale actually, yeah. yeah we didn't mention. decided to sell it unfortunately. Yeah, so. he wants to sell it, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, so guys, this one's actually for sale. I'll try and leave a link in the description. And uh, yeah, anybody interested in the filming, all the links and the details in the description. So yeah, I'm out. See you later, guys. Right, so that's the end of the video. As always, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please, please, please smash the thumbs up. And I know it's becoming a bit generic, but I really do mean it. If you want to help Ricky out some way just hit the thumbs up and of course if you're new to the channel consider subscribing now guys I'm really excited I've got so many little ideas the main thing that I'm trying to do right now is engage with you guys a bit more I think that's something that's missing with this channel I'm just gonna be honest with you like I feel like a passenger of this channel as in my mindset is it's not about Ricky I don't care about me it's about the content yeah I want to just provide you with car content the cars getting ragged you know even my car collection it's not about Ricky trying to be a boss I've got bare cars and look at me it's never been that it's about ragging the hell out of these cars and like like the 720 I don't care like it's in the unit I don't like it's just track days just you know it's not about flossing and I have shot some cool videos I just shot a vlog behind the scenes at an empire meet took the hell out it's a sick day completely different Ricky you're gonna see another thing I want to start doing is these uh, gaming streams so I'm still trying to work out what software to install and uh, have it all set up I have done gaming streams before but it was on the PS which is pretty simple to set up on a PC you have to install shit but yeah right now I'm trying to work out how to do that I'm thinking maybe like every Friday jump on for an hour and it's just another way to engage and you guys can chat and comment and let me know your thoughts so I'm just gonna end it on saying I'm thinking about dropping a reaction video tomorrow uh, I'll pin a comment below just say yes or I don't know just hit the like button or something and I'll, I'll consider dropping one tomorrow and that's the sick thing about these reaction videos is I shot four in like two hours like and they're all sitting there ready to just drop so yeah I'm out people yo what's a right or a left turn Lamborghini made the heads turn enough fuel for the next journey man's wheel spinning got the heads turning exhaust smoke like a fire burning just bought a bim a man's buying German park where I want didn't buy a permit wanna join the team then buy a jersey yo, full tank yo. full of gasoline yeah. we are